Welcome to another episode of One Lonely Outpost, which isn't really all that lonely now. We have quite a few people living on our planet, which is very exciting. Uh, I did want to double check our mail. Yes, we have somebody arriving uh, in a couple days. Okay, that's going to be exciting. Let's go ahead and check the garden. Oh yeah, we need to use this guy to get rid of uh, bugs on our plants. Oh, there's a lot over here. Shoot! Any bugs? Oh, yep, yeah, there's more bugs. Okay. Now I don't think anything is ready for harvest yet. And we don't have anything with question marks. Alright, garden's taken care of. Which is always so nice. Oh, I wonder if the new one of these is done. Let us see, let us see. Uh, yep, we need some stuff here. Veggie stew. Okay. I think that might be what's in my inventory presently. <laughs> Should probably sell some potatoes. I didn't realize we had 99. So first I want to put in... Oh, I forgot the boxes. Uh, three of these. Nah, we'll do four. Uh, and then it doesn't look like the same. Oh, winter root. Okay, it isn't the same. All right, so veggie stew. Let's craft like 15 of them. Boxes, grab the boxes. Oh, hi, Gordy. Uh, I need you to come over here, Gordy. You stopped me from getting into my chest. There we go. Oh, I need more boxes, which would be fine. I believe that just takes plant matter. Uh, green waste. <gasps> what a pretty plant. Good god. Yes, <laughs> I do need to use this somehow. So let's just make that many. How many do I have now in my inventory? 12. I could even do more. Yeah, there we go convert some of this into something useful. And then can I... Ah, this is where I make that stew. Okay. Yeah, I'll probably make a couple of these. Here we go. So, uh, oops. And put this back. But now I'll have extra stuff to eat when I can remember to do so. <laughs> and... There we go, and there you go. 24 days remaining. Well, done day one. Because <laughs> I hoard stuff. <gasps> what is that? Hi, little guy. Okay. I wonder if there's anything we can do in here. No terraforming underway. Okay. Well, I don't really want to go talk to the guy, so <laughs> we'll just go ahead and leave. So I'm curious what kind of other creatures we could see. Are these harvestable? No. Pretty though. Ooh, that bug looks a little different. Probably what I have, but yeah, the hydra. What a cute little thing. I know that eventually you can like ranch creatures. And you can do like regular and robotic versions, I think. <gasps> what is that? It's a cat toad. <laughs> I'm really excited to get these crystals removed. I bet that's the next thing we'll be able to work towards. At least they're not very skittish of the animals. That's a mustache penguin. <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> oh, and snails. Is that a one of these guys? It is. Atlas snail. You have such a funny little walk. Yeah, you do. I guess I could talk to you. Most of the stuff is usually a repeat. My father isn't very chatty, but he could say a lot with just a look. I could tell if he was happy, sad, frustrated, and even more specific, specific things. Like if he wanted me to stop doing flips at a serious event. I'm having fun trying to hunt down any of the new creatures. So we have the mines there. It looks like it said his house was going to be, like, over here. 
maybe. Okay, just... Am I looking at it wrong? This is in the upper spot of where it like is a little V. So there's that leg. And then this. So it seems like this house is going to be up above. But I don't see a whole lot of space up there for it. <laughs> so I'm curious to see uh, where it actually ends up landing. Oh! Hey there. Are you doing some meditation? <laughs> Perhaps it would better serve the colony if the time you spent chatting, you instead invested in the earth. Do ye? I barely talk to the people around here. <laughs> Harry's beetle. It's hard for me to remember which ones I've seen or not. Hey you! Do you have any bucks for you? Probably not, but... No. Wait! Okay. She left. She talked as she walked. I like the little cactuses that are appearing. They're so smooshy! <laughs> Let's try some fish in here. I don't know if we'll have like different fish at night. So far, I think these are all things I've seen before. Well, didn't see much uh, there that was different. Alright, head to Ben. How did we do? Three stars. Sold quite a bit. Nice. Again, I'm just glad I hadn't sold a lot before they just took a cut of what I'd earned. <laughs> I have a lot of uh, revenue, but it's all still good. I've got a delivery to pick up. From what? To say there, just wanted to say thanks for staying on top of the food supply. Much appreciated. Alright. I wonder if that's what the delivery is. Is her like thank you gift almost? Over here. Uh basic cir circuitry. Thanks. Get her to have. Sure I'll use it. Let's check on the garden. The garden, foul bugs. Okay, everything's looking good. Let us check. Ooh, is that a bug we have? Yes. Let's make sure that this is crafting stuff. I have so much glass. Just because I end up with so much of this stuff. I could sell some of it. Maybe they need it to uh, repair and everything. See if I can sell it here. All listed items all sell for a higher price. So it probably means like for the whole month. I haven't really needed a lot of money so far. So I'm not too concerned about it. Grinder going with this stuff. And I'm off. I like they move by just like slamming their face on the ground. I'm going to do my usual when I don't have a main task and that is I'm going to do a day in the mines just so that anytime a quest does come up we've got the supplies for it.
All right, we got down to floor six, which is uh, the best I think we've done so far. I do wish there was some kind of oh, it's a little mossy guy, a little mossy guy. Um, I wish there was some kind of way to save, but I guess I don't uh, ultimately know that it matters. I don't know if like the levels give different resources or anything like that. I think maybe our new uh, colonist will be joining us tomorrow, which is exciting. Excited to learn about all of the animal related stuff. Oh yeah, we did sell the glass. No? Hey. Dirk. Hello, hello. It's always rad to see a new face around. I think you're the new face, especially on a brand new colony like this. My name's Dirk and I'm the vet. I also help out injured wildlife, so if you see any beasties limping around, let me know. I have I was sent here by the Pan Galactic Parliament because apparently you were totally in need of some pets. Super rad to meet you. Uh, uh, I don't know what to say here. <laughs> sure. So psyched that you appreciate it. Ah, there's our little mustache penguin. Oh, that totally reminds me, I'm collecting Obniac entries on any wild animals you find out and about. So if you see anything super weird or whatever, just come to me and I'll make a note of it. It's really important to my research. Anyway, it's been super nice meeting you. You know where to find me for all your animal related questions. Okay. Door's locked. Okay. I guess it is a bit early. Where is this? <laughs> Okay, hey, there's the exit. Okay, so I definitely was misreading what they had circled on the um, map in the email. Because I thought it was saying it would be here, but it's down uh, here where I was walking around. Makes more sense. <laughs> Didn't have to destroy a mountain to park. <laughs> Ten? Ten's the time. Dark. You around? Okay, so this is where they do bet stuff. Oh, there you are. Somewhere I can talk to you. I have seen some stuff. More information. Talk. Even the little ones like it when it's sunny. They lounge around in the sun all day. It's totally adorable. All right. Cool room you got here. Head out. Oh, the boost is gone. I was thinking about that. Oh, you can hear someone walking around out there. Oh, I think it might be that penguin. Oh, that fish is- oh, that fish is new too. I wanna work on getting this guy. Oh, there's a bunch of new fish here. The fish is giving me serious side eye. Alright, wanna try to get this guy? Nope. Alright, we're heading up. Globfish and floatfish. Okay. Nice, nice. So now we know that there's different fish here. Gonna kind of ignore all the- yeah, that's the bad one. And that one. What is it? You got some back problems? Are you good? Oh, he dodged me. Dang it! Okay, one more try. Dodgy little guy. Okay. And not a zebra fish. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, I think we've had barely. But I think we have indeed caught that one before. Looking for back problem fish here. I'll get this guy. And that guy head up. Nice. One more try to get uh back problem fish. It's a new fish. It's gonna be like a boomerang fish. Okay. Guess we have to give up our uh, bowfish efforts on the back from fish. Could be also like snail shell fish. Spending the day fishing today. Hoping to get to tomorrow so that we have quests from our new colonist. 
Every time I get a star, I'm worried that, like, I just missed a bug that I didn't have. <laughs> Alright, we've seen these guys. We're gonna go past them. I haven't managed to get multiple fish in one go, I don't think. Nothing special in that round. I just ran into a fish, I think. <laughs> Alright, one more attempt to see if there's anything new. Then I will be finding a new location to fish. Aha! Finally got multiple fish. Okay, nothing special. Alright, off to find a new fishing spot. Nothing new there. Maybe on our farm there'll be some fun stuff. Nothing too different. There's a lot of more of the shellfish here. Almost exclusively the self shell fish here. I think it's supposed to be a hot day. Everything's kind of like heat wavy. <laughs> I've seen four creatures. All right, let's look at the fish. Shallows and open water at the seaside nexus and the falls. Day, timid and weak. I wonder what timid and weak mean. Stoic and normal. A hunter at night. I don't think it was night when I just got that. <laughs> Trying to wait for it to get uh, later in the day. So we'll probably get new fish that way. Now we got a lot of new fish. Oh, it's because it's in the bug batch. That would be why it seems like we got a bunch of new fish. <laughs> this box. The blue bug box. Okay, we did get new ones, but not as many as it seemed like before. I didn't realize not the zebra was... that was the first time we caught one. I wonder if time's passing while I fish. So we're gonna say it's uh, 1500... 1510... now let's see... Oh here's the time up here. That's our silly fish who looks really paranoid. Its eyes are darting all over the place. So judging by this, I must say that fishing is not a good way to pass time because Time does not pass. <laughs> yeah, it does not. Okay. I'm gonna sit here for a bit until it feels like it's night and then I'll fish again. I'm thinking about fishing now. If I think, oh, are you a different fish or is it just a different color? Oh, here we can see we're in the shallows. Okay, good. I don't know if the icon over here will change uh, to indicate time or if that's just the weather, which is like clear. I also think that was the same fish, just different coloring. The, what they say is how to get this guy. Night, the falls, shallows, and open water. You're at the falls, right? Okay, yeah. I'm curious about the open waters and the falls because I don't know if there's anywhere where I can do open waters over here. Oh, maybe here. I did not see that bug. Probably once we can go past these boulders, I might be able to fish off that bridge. I'm gonna say this just shows the weather, because I think it's cl clearly not day anymore. Okay, so I've done some fishing here. I'm gonna work my way home. All right, got the fish put away. Did I eat? Yes, okay. I can never remember what the symbol's supposed to look like if I have eaten. Sleep. Let's see if Dirk has anything for us today to introduce what we can do with these cute and strange little animals that we have. There we go. Uh, human return to the ruins. Truncated. Okay, so it's actually not Dirk. Interesting. We've got a cloudy day today. Okay, we've got some stuff to harvest. A lot to shoe. Okay, I think I have enough carrots for the moment, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave those. Every once I can get over here. Okay, that's the stuff in here. Probably get these guys just pop straight into this. You know, actually, have about the same amount as that as we do carrots. And put this away. Uh, oh, we should get something cooked up here. All right, we're back. Do you want me to use this? Uh, you want me to use this? All right. 
After 15 billion years, life returns to the planet, thanks to you. Oh. I am relieved to see the planet vibrant once again. Are you blushing? Don't get sappy. <laughs> uh, happy to I did not predict exchange with a human would be so profitable. Terraforming this world without your services may have proven difficult. In light of our your exemplary performance, I will continue our transactions. My next request may seem a little strange, but it is important nonetheless. I have a sophisticated taste matrix and an auxiliary biofill generator that allows me to enjoy food. I have eaten from time to time here on this foul and dust-ridden planet, but nothing worthwhile. All of it has been foreign to me and unpleasant to my taste receptors. The food in my homeworld would be a great comfort. Will you prepare me some, even? Sure. Of course. Your enthusiasm is appreciated. Here, take this recipe for that. Please prepare a serving for me and come back here. Uh, stars have come and gone since I last ate anything. I'm looking forward to your return. An unearthly recipe. Okay, let's see what we gotta do to make this bad boy. Let us see, let us see. Uh, that. Prehistoric fish, lunar moths, the salts, and the sugar. Okay. Fish. Oh, we're one short. Alright. Uh... At the falls and the seaside. All right. The seaside. Oh, I'm going to go to the falls. Hey, we got him. Right, now I need to look for pretty starfish. You. Okay, we could just miss both too. It's an option. All right, let's get this guy. Two fin. Okay. Aha. Got them. Now, hopefully we have the lunar moths. I haven't been collecting them for a little bit just because I felt like I had a lot. <laughs> but I probably don't have enough for what I need here. Okay, we've got five of those. Yay, we put that guy away. Now the moths have five. Does it take five? It'll be a little sad if it takes five. It sure do. Okay. And by chance, I just ground up a bunch of this stuff. Oh, I think it said 50, didn't it? All right, let's grab those. It's a very salty dish. Hot crystals. What do I have in here? I see. Okay, so this. These are what I need. Perfect. Oh my god. It's still set to five. Wow. I had a terrible dream where I crafted this, but five of them instead of one. Good thing that didn't happen. I did not want to waste all of that material, so I reloaded. <laughs> I have your taste of home right here. I'm gonna end up being better friends with this robot than anybody else in town. Too long has my mission been reduced to mere survival. It'll be good to return to other tasks. All right, well, apparently that was it. <laughs> I can't remember what these stars are for. Meteorology. We haven't done very well on that. Prospecting's real bad. Oh, hi. Should probably talk to you. Uh, have you seen my bug collection? It's rather impressive, if I do say so myself. No, you're not really friendly, so you haven't interacted with me much. <laughs> well, I think I am going to end the day a bit early. I've taken care of the garden. We cooked a meal for the alien, so I think I should be fine. So yeah, we've introduced a new colonist, Dirk, I believe, uh, and I'm really excited to see what those animals are about. We fed an alien. Been a very good day. So hope you guys have enjoyed this episode, and until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.